Hello. Hello. I'm Jill from Champagne Cartel. And I'm Carolyn. Uh, today we are at Body Smart at the PCYC at Lang Park. It's a Pilates studio that we go to, that we love. And we are here to go through the top three exercises to basically look after your pelvic floor. To make you stop weeing yourself. <laughs> Which frankly we all need. Um, as we're going into middle age, ladies, <laughs> speak for yourself. Uh, so enjoy. And these are exercises that we'll be doing on the reformer, but you actually can do these really easily at home. And so we'll be talking to you about how that can happen. Anyway, enjoy. Come with us. So today what we're going to be doing is going through my top three favorite pelvic floor exercises. So before we get started, I'll just show you my favorite cue for pelvic floor. So what I want you to do is imagine that your pelvis is a bowl. I want you to try and imagine that there's a marble in the bottom of that bowl and you're trying to draw that marble up so it's hovering in the middle. So it's not shooting all the way up through the top of the bowl, but it's not sitting on the bottom of the bowl. Okay. So if I ask you how your marble's going, <laughs> it's our cue. Okay. All right, so good. What we're going to start with is our little pelvic tilt. So if you just put your feet where they are on the bar there and then you're just trying to tilt your hip bones back so they're pointing back towards the back wall and then rolling them forward so you're trying to Keep that marble tucked up. Good. So you should be feeling this working in those really deeper abdominal muscles there. If we were doing this at home without the bar, would we have our feet on the floor? Or you can have your feet on the floor. If that's comfortable, you can also have them up like on a chair, yep. wherever it's comfortable. Okay. okay. And you can do it just like that with the ball. The ball yes, as well. Perfect. And so I'm just squeezing the ball a little bit. Yeah. I know that's the idea. Just a little bit of a squeeze. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do now is come into our spine curls. So from there, what I want you to do is just going to flatten the back into the carriage, curl all the way up so you're resting just on your shoulder blades. Good. And then rolling back down. So you're trying to squeeze the bottom, peel the spine away one vertebra at a time. Good. And keeping that little bit of a squeeze on that ball. So you can do this at home as well, feet on the ground. And if you want to get that little bit of a squeeze to work the inner thighs, mm -hmm. you can do it with just like a pillow. Oh, okay, yeah. Good. How's everything feeling? Good. Yeah, good. Now, good. sometimes when I've been exercising, mm -hmm. I'm starting to get a slight grab in my hamstring. Yeah. And I know that Carolyn's had that before mm -hmm. as well. I get that a lot. Yeah. So it's really important, isn't it, to squeeze yeah. it in the butt? Yeah. So if the glutes aren't working properly, the hamstrings will take over. Okay. So you really want to think glute squeeze and then lift. So really try and squeeze that bottom. Lift up and then slowly back down. Okay, got it. Okay, what we'll do now, you can take that ball out, throw it on the ground. What we're going to do now, grab the straps behind you. Okay, your legs are going to come up into tabletop. So 90 90, backs slightly flattened into the carriage, core on, so you're trying to bring those hip bones up towards the rib cage. Bring the arms straight down by your side and then slowly back. So for the at-home version, yep. on the floor, mm -hmm. you're literally lying there in tabletop. Yep. And, and then, yeah, so it, the main aim of it is trying to get any piece of movement through the upper or lower body. Okay, yeah. So what you can do is tie a TheraBand on a table behind you, oh, pull yeah, the arms okay. down, or you can do leg lock extensions. So this time what you can do, pull the arms down, one leg extends, okay, yeah. perfect, and then back. So if you did that at home without any straps or anything, that's still doing. Still working. Okay. Yeah, bit of work. Yeah. yeah. Good. We'll go for one more. Try to keep that marble held in. Good. Oops, you did the wrong leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, you rest the legs down there. How's everything feeling? Great. Yeah, good. I can already feel that just from doing those few good. exercises. Yeah. So can you just tell us um, what we're really doing here is we're <laughs> like working this area here mm -hmm. that those muscles yeah and so if someone wanted to do these exercises would you do them every day do you think yeah so you want to try and build up that muscle endurance mm -hmm. so that's really trying to get as much time under tension of those muscles as you can so especially for pelvic floor if you can do it every day a couple of times a day yeah. you know every time you sit down for a meal try and hold the pelvic floor on mm -hmm. try and do it for 10 seconds rest 10 seconds rest okay do that a couple of times every meal time every day 
Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. To actually have sort of just a little trigger, something yeah. to remind you to do it. Yeah. So even like when the kettle's boiling, that's another one. If you have lots of cups of tea or yeah. coffee, <laughs> as the kettle's boiling, 10 seconds on, little hold. Oh, that's great. 10 seconds on, and then try and increase it to 15, 20 seconds. So you're trying to really build that endurance. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. That's all right.